Good morning, everyone. Everybody's just waking up. Um, I just want to do a video today doing what I eat in a day. I'm 24 weeks pregnant, so um, I'm currently still eating a vegan diet. Uh, so I want to share that with you. So let's get into it. Let's go get breakfast. Day with some beautiful fruit, some blueberries, some watermelon, and some water. Then I'm just gonna fry up in my cast iron pan with a little oil, some tofu, and I just started buying this tofu. It's in the um, like health food section in the superstore here in Canada and oh it's so good and it's, uh, tofu is such high source of calcium look how great that is for a fifth of this package so like this slice anyways I'm gonna have a bagel have it on a bagel sandwich I always buy um, the ones on sale because people don't buy them because they go bad quicker but I just put them in the fridge and they last long but if there's none on sale, then I buy bulk and I reuse my bags. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these bagel sandwiches. Mm, I'll show you the finished product. It's cold. This little girl's obsessed with tofu. She just eats it raw out of the package. <laughs> True vegan right there. <laughs> Crazy hair. <dude. laughs> She's just going for a four-wheeler drive this morning with her, all her little pets. So I just wanted to let you know about the toppings I'm putting on. Um, apple jelly this brand you just have to read the ingredients because smuckers here uses pectin for the thickener instead of gelatin you just have to be sure of that gelatin is animal product and pectin is not so yeah that's on my so apple jelly and then the hellman's vegan mayo and some dijon mustard and then i'll put my tofu just salt and pepper on my tofu and some tomatoes and spinach yeah gonna be good all right there you go some sneezy bagel with tofu and spinach and tomato yeah that's my breakfast with the fruit for lunch i'm just having falafels on some nan bread this is the falafel mix that i use so I made my own donair sauce. It's just mayo. Um, I didn't have white any white vinegar left, so I used um, apple cider vinegar and sugar and salt and garlic powder. Did I say mayo? <laughs> Mayo's the base. And a little bit of lemon juice. Yeah, pretty good. Just, yeah. This is the falafel mix after it sets for 10 minutes. You gotta add cold water and let it set for 10 minutes. And now I'm just gonna make little balls and fry it in the oil. There you have it. It's our falafel wrap with some donair sauce. Is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'll see you probably. I'll probably end up snacking. So I'll see you then. Snacking too. I just wanted to say, if you're getting nan bread from the grocery store, um, most of the brands at the superstore here in Canada aren't vegan. I did find one out of like many. Um, that was that didn't have any like it's accidentally vegan it's not um vegan made vegan so you just got to read the ingredients i know if you're like a, f a new vegan that might be a little annoying for me you know i've been vegan for a few years so it doesn't really bother me to read the ingredients uh yeah so just and usually if it does contain like milk or eggs or anything it'll say on the 
bottom of the list, it'll say contains wheat, soy, or milk, or eggs. Usually it's what it'll say. So mine didn't say that. It just said may contain. So it means it's not put into it, but it might be in a facility that has those things. So yeah, just make sure you're reading the ingredients before you go ahead and buy your nan bread. And that goes for most things because a lot of things are accidentally vegan, but unless you actually read the ingredients, um, you wouldn't know So because they don't mark them as vegan. So um, yeah, and I'm just snacking on some soda crackers and butter. <laughs> For supper, I'm just having minestrone soup with a slice of bread and butter. Who knows if I'll have a snack later. This is what I cooked last night for supper, so I'm just having leftovers. Yum. Oh. I didn't have that, Mom. <laughs> just having some Dad's oatmeal cookies. They're vegan. People say the chocolate chip ones are too. I can't. I haven't read the ingredients list recently, so I don't know. But the regular oatmeal ones are. Anyways, I'm having these, and then that's probably all I'm gonna eat tonight. So thank you for so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Like this video if you like it, and subscribe. Okay, bye.